Okay, really quickly, I wanted to show this new planner, a couple new planners that I purchased from the Christian Planner. Um, I mentioned it in another video. I will link that for you, but this is, um, I was going to open it last night, but I thought I'd share it and open it together. It just came in this padded, bubbled envelope. I did order three different kinds. So it comes um, plastic wrapped in a box. Here is one of them. These are all 2021 planners. Here's another one that came in the box and then it's plastic wrapped. And then this one came just in plastic wrap, not in the box. So this one is the um, 2021 Christian planner. This is just their hardcover. Um, and on the back it has a scripture from 1 Thessalonians 5.23 in the NIV version. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So here is this one. And then I will open them up and give you a deeper look inside these. Okay, it is a little overcast today, so I apologize for the light ahead of time, but um, I really just want to dig in and show you guys these. So all I've done is taken the plastic off and then I slipped this cover off. I got three different 2021 planners, like I said, because I have been wanting to try them, um, but uh, they were on sale. And so I thought this is a great time to try them. So I bought three different styles that they have. The first one that I got was just their regular hardcover one, and I got it in this really gorgeous pale pink. I know for sure my camera is not doing it justice on the color, but um, I got it in this pale pink color. You can see for my coffee, pink is my, it's it's my signature color. Um, if you know where that's from, from the movie, comment down below. But this one is, it's just gorgeous. Here on the front, it says 2021 Christian Planner in gold. And then as we open it up, Oh, it's pretty. It's got this um, little crosses all throughout in kind of a, a darker gold. And then it's got your nameplate here. Um, and then name and email. It's got, they have a Facebook group where they show, um, I think they have like different ways to, people are using it and stuff like that. And then their Instagram and then their website. Here, it just has a welcome um, to the Christian Planner family. It has some guidelines at the beginning of the year, design your vision board, fill out your healthy habits, goal, dive into your weekly devotional, that's for every week, every day, write in your daily appointments, tasks, and top priorities, and daily habit tracker, and then every month, write in all your big monthly events and goals. It has a year overview with the holidays listed down below. And then it has a Christian year overview, which is pretty cool. So here it has season, emphasis, spiritual challenge. So the season is Advent, um, and the emphasis is ready, readiness for the coming of Christ at the end of history and at Bethlehem, the four Sundays before Christmas Day. And the spiritual challenge is repent and be ready for the second coming of Christ. Allow an eager longing for the coming of <clears throat> excuse me, and allow an eager longing for the coming of the Messiah to be birthed in your heart. And then they have one for Christmas, Epiphany, after Epiphany, Lent, the great, I'm going to say this wrong, the great Tritum, the, the three great days, Easter, the Christian Passover known as the Pas Pascal Mystery in the early church. I don't know how to say that and I apologize, but, and then after Pentecost, and then it just has the emphasis for each and a spiritual challenge. So that's really cool, I think. Um, they also have a Catholic version of these planners. Um, so I don't know if theirs would be different here, but they have a Catholic version as well. On here, it's got my vision board and then um, cut and paste photos and then write, draw, quotes, prayers, um, etc. This is your vision. Here's a bucket list. So 2021, and then it's got some room lines here, and then the next five years, and then lifetime. I apologize. I was so excited. I didn't like take my polish off or redo it or anything, so I apologize for my nails too. Here is my healthy habit goals. Pray and make a covenant with God this year in each quadrant. Write down how you can improve your life, your relationship with Christ, and your relationship with others, big, small, personal, and spiritual. Everything counts. And then it has 
a daily quadrant, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. And then it has examples here. Daily, for example, you might want to make my bed or call or text a family member, give thanks to have a daily prayer. Weekly, you might want to volunteer at a soup kitchen and do Bible study. Monthly, go on a retreat, run a 5K, and quarterly, do a mission trip or hike Half Dome. So these are just examples for you to put in there. And then another page for your yearly goals. 2021 goals, write down the goals you would like to accomplish this year. And then it goes in to the monthly layout. It has, it's really nice and clean. It has um, scripture up on top. This month has 1 Corinthians 13, 13. It looks like all the scripture is in the NIV um, translation. And then here on the side, it has monthly goals. And then the first three lines are darker than the rest because it has my top three and then these are just a shade lighter. So that's really cool. And then down here, a reflection. What blessings came into my life last month? What accomplishments am I proud of? And here's action. How can I demonstrate love for God and others this month? I'm really liking this. This is just a great way to focus and keep um, God and um, becoming more like Jesus at the forefront of your mind. So I mean, this is really great. And then after monthly, oh, here is a monthly finance tracker. So it gives you your month, your monthly income, minus your monthly tithe, and then your final balance, and room to write your bills, the due date, the amount, whether or not you've paid it, and then your new balance, and then one-time expenses, so things like entertainment, gifts, repairs, etc. So it has the same marks here. Here it's got like a coloring page you could do. Um, this one says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And then it has the scripture from where it's from, Isaiah 9, 6. Oh, and this one's in the ESV. So I guess not all the scripture is from NIV. After that, we go into the weekend devotional. So this is where they say you can take this with you um, to church, or if you're doing church at home, you can just open it up right there. And then you have room for either reflection or preparation for the week, your sermon notes, um, or just some free space to doodle and draw. This side is blank. This side is lightly lined. So that actually, all of this, no, it was January. Here, for some reason, this tab says December. That says January. So I don't know if that's just a little typo, but that said, oh, maybe because here it says December, the end of December, the first and the second were just these two days. So maybe that's why. So then it's got for your weekly goals, um, top three, and then it's lighter again. And then here you have day, night, and then it's lightly lined um, up on the day. It's like really, really faint. So if you wanted to cover over it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, and then the night is just a little darker. You have some free space here. And then you have daily habit trackers. So you get six little things that you can track throughout the week if you wanted to. Um, and then more scripture up on top. And then again, your weekly devotional or your sermon notes that you want to do, the blank page, the lined page. And I'm assuming this goes through the same kind of thing for the rest of the month. The weekly is kind of this vertical. It goes from Sunday to Saturday. Your habit trackers and then the room to do that. And yeah, it just kind of goes forward for the rest. When you get to the end of your month, when you get to the end of the month, you have your monthly overview again. You have your reflection, your action, and then your finance tracker, a new coloring page, and then it goes into your weekly. And then it goes throughout, and then here on the side, I don't know if the camera is picking up, um, it has just the grade, lightly grayed marks, so you um, can see the months flip over to your month, because there's no tabs on it, and it's not indented, um, which I kind of like. So. Let's flip all the way through and see if the end of it looks any different. So here we are at December. Nope, it looks like you end on your December 21, 2021 to January 2022. Same weekly layout, but the last page is just some dot grid notes. And there's one, two two pages here it just has a reminder time to reorder your christian planner and then here has some major christian holidays or holy days so here is where they have protestant here is the catholic ones and then here's orthodox which is nice if you have friends and stuff that are different and then you can like acknowledge and, and celebrate alongside 
And then it's got a, a pocket here. The back side is the same gold um, crosses, but it's got this great pockets for you to stuff extra things in. And then it also has, they were tucked in very nicely, so you can see them. But it has two ribbon bookmarks in here. So this one has like a cream colored and a black one. So if you wanted to hold two different dates in your, your planner, you could, or you could just double up and put the two there. So that is this hardcover one. It is really great. Oh, it also has um, the elastic on the back so you can close it up if you wanted to also. It's really pretty. I love this blush color that they have. It's I'm not sure if I want to use these for the rest of the year or if I want to redate it. I'm not quite sure what my plan was with this. I just was excited there was a sale and honestly it was an impulse purchase and I really wanted to check them out. So let's look at the other two. This one came in a box. This is their premium leather. So I got the black one in that and the leather, um, you can faintly smell it. I, I don't mind the smell of that, so if you don't like the smell, it may bug you, but I don't mind. Um, here again in the gold, it's got the 2021 Christian Planner. Same kind of insides, nameplate, overview, the season emphasis and spiritual challenge, vision board bucket list. So everything on the inside is going to be the same. Oh, I think the other one is just a typo because here it does say January. So, But it doesn't bug me. It's not a big deal. Um and everything else here is the same. It's got the rounded edges here of the paper. The paper too is, is pretty thick. Um, I think it says on their website, I'll go back and look and if I can find it, I will put it somewhere on the screen of what the paper weight is. But this is a great um, heavy weight so it should not bleed through. And then this one has the pocket as well in the back. And then it also has um, the bookmarks and the bookmark colors for this black one are this blue and black ribbon one. So it has the same exact layout um, inside with the scriptures up on top for every week and every month. Um, and then your coloring pages for the beginning of the month. So that's really cool too. Um, and then that's this one. And these, I will put up the, the exact dimensions of these two for you so you can get a peek at that. They also have an academic planner and then they have a um, goal setting one. We had purchased the goal setting one before, but I gave it to my husband um, and I think he's written in it. And so out of respect for him, I don't want to thumb through okay. that one. And but this I... last one I got was the spiral bound. So this one also came in one of their boxes. This one is like this blue color. Looks like there's just like a little glue or something maybe on there, but it doesn't, it looks like it's coming off. I may just have to rub a little but it is this really gorgeous blue color it has the black elastic on the back too and then the spiral is this um it's not a shiny gold which i like that it's not this really bright bright but it's um like a sort of toned down gold this i really like the spiral i really like how you can open it all the way up and it lays flat um it's got the same Gold crosses, decoration on the front here. Gameplay, again, I'm going to say that everything in here is the same. It's just spiral. Um, you get your vision board, your bucket list, your goal setting sheets. The thing with this spiral, though, that I really like is one that it does lay flat. So I really like that. The other thing that I like too is that um, sometimes when I'm writing, like especially if you decide to take this with you to do your sermon notes, you can easily put it in half and not take up so much space and do it that way. Um, or when you're decorating, if you decorate your planner, this would be easier to, you could see your full layout, but if you wanted to just work that one at a time or even writing, you could do that and fold it over flat this way. So I really like this spiral one. Um, I don't think when I purchased, I don't think that they have the spiral in that blush pink color, but I'm pretty sure they will have it for the upcoming year. So 
I don't know, this may be the planner I switched to for 2022. I knew that I wanted to do a switch right now. I'm in a happy planner um, and I have been kind of tinkering around with switching over to something else for 2022, but I haven't quite made this decision. I really love this company though. Um, like I mentioned in the other video, this co this company is a family owned company. It is um, was started and founded by a veteran. Um, I, I can't right now, I think he was in the Air Force. I will, I will put the link and it has it there. But um, he created it because I think believe he was suffering from PTSD and he needed something to ease anxiety and kind of his stress and he created a planner and um, him and his wife made this dream come true. And I just think it's a great story, a great company to um, support. And so if you're looking for a new planner and this you like this layout, you're looking to support maybe a smaller company, this may be it for you. Um, those are the three main planners that I that I purchased. Like I said, they also have an academic planner, which I'm looking at for my son for maybe next year. We'll see. We might get it halfway through this year. I may end up giving him one of these and just redating them and see if he likes this type of planner style. My kiddos are waking up. I'm sure you can hear them. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you um, enjoyed flipping through these planners with me. Let me know if you've ever used them or what planner you're in or if you're considering switching over to these. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more inspiration amongst our chaos, and um, comment down below again what planner you're using. Thanks again.